We are about to make history in our party and history in this country. Unfortunately, the way the results of the superdelegates came, many of our opponents are confused and they are seeing looming defeat on November 4th. And because of that, they've decided to adopt some new tactics. The new tactics is what? If you miss the ball, don't miss the man. That is the new tactics that they are adopting. And so, what is the tactics? They have decided to spread lies and to bring disunity amongst us and to create problems between chairmen and constituency executives with polling station executives and electoral area coordinators. They want to knock our heads together. So they have come with different lies. I'm hearing a lie every day as I am sitting down and watching what they are saying. They say I've given all constituency chairmen, 275 constituency chairmen, 100,000 Ghana cities and a pickup. <laughs> Have you seen any pickup here for your chairman? Chairman, this is just a ridiculous lie. Then they say, I will not allow in future polling station executives and electoral area coordinators to vote in the presidential elections. I mean, how can this happen? It's not possible for me to stop polling station executives and electoral area coordinators from voting. This was a national conference decision, and I was very supportive of expanding the electoral college to allow polling station executives and electoral area coordinators to vote. And by the grace of God, they will continue to vote. They will continue to vote. What I want to do is actually push for a new reform to allow electoral area coordinators to vote in the election of regional executives. So we want to rather expand and include everybody. We don't want to reduce. And so that lie must be put to rest. The third lie that I have heard this morning is that I want to say that all sitting MPs should go unopposed, that nobody should contest a sitting MP. How can I say that? The party constitution cannot even allow that. This party is stronger when we have democracy working. And so I will never say any sitting MP must go unopposed. There must be consensus in any constituency. And so that lie should be left alone. But as I say, their tactic is that if you miss the ball, don't miss the man. But as for this, they will miss the man because we will not allow their lies to take root. <laughs>